we propose a novel method of animating and controlling characters in large, complex virtual environments using motion capture data. The target environment we intend to create is often too big to be accommodated in our motion capture studio. The basic idea of our approach is reusing motion data captured in one environment to animate characters in another environment by matching local geometric features. We first built the physical playground environment in the motion capture studio and recorded the motion of our subject, walking, climbing, and sliding on the playground. In the motion capture session, we try to capture as much variety of motions as possible that are viable on the playground. Motion data were recorded in long clips so that seamless natural transitions between motions could be captured. By analyzing the recorded motion data, we identified 11 building blocks that comprise the environment and embedded the motion data into the building blocks. The set of motion data embedded into each building block is called a motion patch and informs what motions are available for animated characters within the block. We built a simple interactive editing tool for designing various virtual environments. Once the target environment is created, the set of building blocks can be fitted onto the target environment such that the environment is covered by the embedded motion patches. The motion patches are connected to each other by finding intersections at overlapping regions. Then the target environment can be automatically annotated with a rich connected set of motion data that allows characters to navigate through the environment. The character is animated and controlled in the environment by simply traversing the annotated motion data. This annotation makes collision avoidance and path planning in the environment very efficient. In this example, our subject approached the chair, sat down, stood up, and left repeatedly. The whole data sets were embedded to a single building block consisting of the desk and the chair. We also captured our subject walking around, idling, fighting, and chatting in an empty environment. Each motion set produces a motion patch that encodes a specific behavior of the character. We also implemented a special type of patch that can be tiled in a regular pattern, such as square ground panels and stairs. The tileable motion patch has pairs of matching boundary edges and a number of entries and exits sampled on the edges. Any entry on a boundary edge always has its corresponding exit on the opposite edge, and vice versa. This boundary condition allows motion patches to be aligned and tiled without much effort. In this office environment, the user can create, remove, or drag the building blocks interactively to change the environment. Accordingly, the motion patches are created, connected to each other, or detached from each other in order to dynamically update the annotation in the environment. The user can also control each character by specifying either a goal location to move to or a specific behavior such as idling, chatting, and roaming around. Collisions between characters can be avoided very efficiently at the resolution of building blocks. In this example, each character occupies blocks and avoids the collision with other characters by preventing them from entering the occupied blocks. For efficient path planning, we use two-level planning algorithm that first finds a path to the goal at the resolution of building blocks and then refines the path by running a shortest path algorithm through the embedded motion patches. Motion patches are useful in applications where multiple characters are animated and controlled at interactive rates in a large virtual environment. Motion patches are simple, versatile, and easy to implement. The primary advantage of our approach is that it scales well with the size of motion data and the complexity of virtual environments.